What a beautiful sunset. Hello everyone, my name is Niestro, and welcome back to episode 2 of New Beginnings. And, uh, here we are. Now, unfortunately, at the end of last episode, as you know, it was raining, and then, you know what happened? It's a brilliant thing. The rain stopped. And our lovely thatch home, well, it just... It just burned. <laughs> Luckily, though, oh... Oh. Oh. Oh, really? Game? <laughs> Such a sick sense of humor. All right, before I was rudely interrupted by the gods that be in the Terra Firma Craft universe, I was saying, luckily, I am a trained firefighter, and I managed to save about half our house. <laughs> and I, I gathered some more straw and made some more thatch, and we're going to come over here and make a lovely little home that is not next to our fire kilns. So I think that's a pretty good plan. Uh, but first we're going to make a shovel because I forgot to. What don't I need? Two straw. All right. This game is a little weird with no sound though, so I'm going to make that like a little bit. It's a little bit of rain sound. And then we're going to pray that this dirt doesn't collapse. That's our plan. Pray right now. Yes. So far, so good. Just one more layer. Actually, no, this is next to stone. So I think we'll do this one. This layer. And then as soon as we do that, all will be right in the world. There we go. We're going to make a lovely little roof. Let's see. Right here seems good. Yes, yes, yes. Put some torches that will somehow not burn our roof to the ground. And then we will place some lovely walls. Hmm. I'm thinking... Let's see. We'll just make it small for now. Well, I did go through the time to gather more of this stuff. We might as well make it a bit extravagant. We'll just go for that. We're not going to add the third block to the wall yet because, you know, who needs that in their lives, right? <laughs> How much more do I have? I have 32 more. That should be plenty. Nope, didn't mean to place that one. That's where the door is. And here we are. All right, cool, cool. We'll add a little bit of roofing to keep the disgusting rain out. I don't know what we'd do without without the lovely help of our amazing thatch. I guess we will add the third block since we have the resources. We have the technology, as they say. Just enough, actually. Check that out. Two blocks to spare for our emergency door. That's nice. Oh, we got a leak. Quickly. Plug that. And that's bothering me. Awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a lovely new fire pit in here. Because I think fire pits are safe indoors. You just can't put them on uh, burnable substances. Okay. And that didn't work. I think it has to be exp maybe it has to be exposed to the sky for the first bit. I have a little chimney over there. Hmm. But it's raining. All right, you know what? We're not going to do that yet. But what we are going to do is I'm going to show you guys what I did over here. As soon as I drop off some things I don't need, like these things. So much venison. Oh, by the way, I discovered that, yes, they do decay. The cooked things do decay. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. Do not betray me. You used to be of my people. 
All right. Whew. That was close. Our first mob encounter, we did it. Anyways, what I was going to say, I made a bunch of clay thingies for us to use. No, not another one. Not another one. Dude. Why, Rain? Why? All right, whatever. We're just going to spend the day, the night, organizing things. All right. I will be back when it is daytime, and this friend over here will burn. BRB. So as you can see, he burned. Finally. It actually, uh, the night, the rain didn't stop through the day, so I had to wait. Day's probably almost over now. Yeah. We don't have much time. I did make a couple runs out here to grab our things. And then I organized back in our house. And I asked Mr. Dunk himself if uh, cooked food decays, and it does, and it's slower. Well, I already knew it decayed after I looked, but this is the food corner. All of these except this one are totally filled with things. Um, tonight I'll probably spend some time testing, but I wanted to see if when you cook uh, decayed food, if the decay goes away, because I remember specifically that this was at zero after I cooked it. And I'm not sure if that's because... Um, I'm not sure if that's because I cooked it or not, but anyways. Oops. We will deal with that tonight. But for today, at or until the end, I just wanted to show you guys that I found a source of fresh water. And we're going to go refill these jugs before uh, nighttime hits. Uh, and then we will go back to the house and talk about a couple other things. Anyways, the place I found is over here. Uh-huh. This is actually quite a jaunt. So it'll be good that I made two jugs. <laughs> oh my god, it's a bear thing. Is it nice? Are you nice, bear? Oh my god, you're not nice. You are not nice. You are mean. You are following me. Possibly. I can't actually tell. Quickly, run back to the house before we die from more zombies. And then we have some other things to discuss. Because I was looking through the menus and such. So, uh, just a couple things. Um, I, was, I was checking out the calendar. And I think at the start of every episode from now on, I'll show you guys what day it is. And then at the end, we'll, we'll check that out too. Um, so... First off, let's eat some delicious venison. Because we hunger. Alright. And then I was looking at this stuff over here for the first time. And I guess you get points for stuff that you do. And I guess I get two points for harvesting those jute things that I got. And this is the calendar. We're already on um, day four in the year 1000. Which is pretty cool that you can keep track of that. And my diet is suffering. I'm going to get scurvy here in a little while. If I don't find some fruit and vegetables to devour. I don't know how long it takes for you to die of malnutrition. But that's a thing that can happen apparently. So yeah. But other than that, I think we're going to skip the night. Uh, and then maybe the day too. Because I have to gather a bunch of wood so we can get started on our charcoaling adventures but whenever that happens I will be back oh one other thing we were gonna test if uh, the decaying goes away after you cook it and this is currently at 8.0 decay and it's still at 8.0 decay alright good to know good to know so I can safely cook everything without wasting efficiency and I will be doing that tonight so if you see all of the cooked foods afterwards that's why but other than that uh, I will return in a bit. All right. Well, after what appears to have been... Oh, Jesus. Like... What day was it? Like day seven? It's, I, anyways, I've been, I've been hard at work on this whole wood chopping thing. You guys, you guys know this was all for us before. And uh, let me tell you, it took quite some time... Because I, like, designated my space for my charcoal pit, like, how much I wanted there to be. And then I, I made it. 
Like, I put this, and I was like, all right, this is how much wood I want in my charcoal pit. And then I was like, all right, let's fill it. And now this happened. This, I believe, is 17. It's going to be 17 uh, full stacks of wood, which is just absurd. So let me see here. That's 17, 17 times 16, which I do not know off the top of my head. 272 wood. That's how much. That was how many logs I have. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this party started, because I've been waiting quite some time to get, to make this happen. All right, we got it, and now we're gonna do this. Fill it up. Or er, wait. What? What? No. No. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay. All right, cool. I don't know what was happening there for a minute, but it's fine. We'll, we'll have two less pieces of wood in there, 270. <laughs> uh, and now that's going to take basically forever, and when it's done, we will have a bajillion charcoal. So that's good. Also, in that time period, I made some more vessels because I ran out of space to put my sticks. <laughs> this is f this is um, eight stacks of sticks because <laughs> I hand harvested all the leaves first because I don't want to waste any. So I like did all the leaves and then I chopped everything down. I went through five axes, five stone axes cutting everything down. Uh, and now we have a new mission. Or not a new mission, but I I have something to show you all. Um, because I found some things, and I just want to show you guys this next level strat. If you're having trouble finding ore, just like go into your options, like because you're like, what? I don't see any ore, and you're like, okay, video settings, fast, and then you're like, wait a minute, there's the ore. It's just like it makes it makes it so much more obvious, like an item just floating on the ground. So every time I'm looking for her, I'm just going to do that, because no stone unturned, fool. Small tetrahedrite. I think we need ten of these in order to make our pickaxe. So we're just going to have to hunt around for those. I just wanted to make sure you guys saw whenever I got the first one. I saw that when I was cutting down trees. And now we have it. I think there was more over here, too. Oh, snap. I need to mark this spot as a place where the things are. We're going to make a little cairn here. Oops. Uh, wait. Can you not place this stuff anymore? You got to, like, do this. Okay. Make a little cairn for a marker. And now we will continue looking for the things. Chicka chow. We're just going to do a little quick peek around. Oh, there's one. That's good. And that's three already. We're we're a little less than a third of the way there. We are close. Maybe not close, but we're, we're getting there. Moving along. It does mean you can't see through the trees, but that's fine because it makes these so obvious. That's four. 40% complete. We might even be able to finish it right now. And now that we have our charcoal going, because you really got to get the charcoal f going first, so. Well, not necessarily, but I like to get it going early. Oh, hey. It's really pretty. Anyways, <laughs> our homeland. I wonder how big this, this biome is. Probably pretty large. I didn't mark those those things but that's fine I guess I'll mark this one. Oh, that's a sphalerite okay we're just gonna have to f realize that okay more sphalerite we need to I want more uh, tetrahedrite though is this a different stone no it's the same stone weird 
I, well, it's not weird. It's just, I guess it's cool, but I would rather them be tetrahedrites. Or maybe they need to be sphalerite. I don't know. Tetrahedrite. I haven't done the metal thing in a while. We're just going to go on a hunt. Ooh, a pig. Oh, by the way, all of our meat is rotting because I've spent so t so much time. Like, I've been eating it and stuff, but it just... Like, I had one in my inventory, too, and it's gone now because it just disappeared. Disintegrated from lack of salt. I know, right? For once, I'm playing a game and I have a lack of salt. But Such salt, much salt. All right, how many is that? Ten. We got ten tetrahedrite. I'm gonna have to look at the uh, things. Check a chow. Woo. Hmm. Cha cha cha. Ceramic vessels, molds, tools. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Pit kiln. Easy. Smelt ore. Put in vessel and melt. Sounds good. Do you put it in a pit kiln? Or the vessel smelts ores can be used for tetrahedrite. Retrieve vessel. Blah, blah, blah. And then you need to all right, cool. well, now we have enough for one tool. I'm gonna go ahead and walk around and gather some more because there appears to be literally millions and millions of these things around, which is awesome. Oh, I found something else. Galena. this is a rich deposit right here. Of the Galenas. Galenas. Galena Gomez. Whoop whoop. Alright. I will cut back whenever I'm actually doing something productive and not just searching for things. Alright, so we have returned to our home and we're gonna hop into making a metal y thing happen this time around. Uh, we have enough for one, uh, one ingot slash tool. And we also got some gold, one extra tetrahedrite, seven galena, and four small sphalerite for whenever we need those things. And here's this. I'm going to leave these because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. But for this, we're just going to toss it in there. Do you just pit kiln it? Is that what happens? Pit kiln it up. Smelting ore. Fill the vessel. Place it in the fire and in the kiln. Yeah, all right, cool. That's what I thought. Um, and at the same time, we also need to be making some things. Uh, first of which is some clay molds, which are this. Uh, two is fine. And then we also need a pickaxe mold. Hooray. So I think that's the only two things we need. I don't even think we actually need a clay mold. We could have just gone. I think you can just go straight into a. Well, how many? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So we actually didn't need any molds, but we're gonna we're gonna have molds anyways. Uh. So we're gonna go ahead because it makes three things, and I like to not waste straw. So going to do all that. That should be nice. I don't think we have... Oh, we do have. But we don't have any wood. Ah, crap. Alright. Danger zone wood gathering time. Let's go. Might as well light up this area while we're at it. Super dark out here. I wonder if my brightness is up. Oh, yeah. That's better. Cheating. Cheating the game. I need eight logs. Alright, this is going to take a second. I'll be right back. Holy nuggets. That cut down all of them. Not what I intended. 
But yeah, trees now, I think it cuts down in like, within like a radius of two, three blocks. Something like that. I haven't looked at the exact numbers. I kind of just eyeball it whenever I cut trees, but yeah, it cuts down multiple trees now, so that's cool. And kind of makes up for the fact that the axe is slow as molasses. So, wow, that's a lot all at once. Okay. So we're just going to do blah, 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 blah. Put that up, grab this. Blah, 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 blah. But, uh, oh, I didn't even say I added this in here. And it, it's not a risk for burning anything. It's just nice to have in here. Ba boom. As you can see. All right, that took a little while. Might as well get rid of this. Doesn't burn anything, which is amazing. And it makes it really bright in here because the torches kind of blow at making it bright. And I need food. Which one of these is the least? That one, probably. It's weird. Some of them rot so much faster than others. Like, these, were, I got these all from the same thing, and many of them are already gone. Like, this, all three of them are rotted. Uh, this one... Two of them rotted. But you can see they're all at different rates. Like this one, I, st I haven't eaten any of it, and it's just like rotting like crazy. So I'm just going to eat until I'm full. Try and get all of, it, all of it I can. Only managed to eat like 20 ounces of it, unfortunately. But yeah, whenever this finishes, I guess we'll do things. Um, I'm going to put my medals away. And I'll clue you guys in as to how I do my organization. This is the stick pile. This is the random things pile. I guess this will be my metal pile. <laughs> and this is my <laughs> this is my meat locker. <laughs> yep, meat locker. Actually, uh, while I'm looking at things, let's go ahead and jump into seeing what hide is for. Let's see. You can use it to make... Oh, wow. Is that my charcoal? Yee! Alright, we're probably going to need more than one shovel, but... Here we go. This, this is fun. Yeah. I love that sound that makes whenever it's like... It's so good. Alright. Here we are. We're going to see how much charcoal I get out of this. I'll be right back whenever I actually... Oh, never mind. I'm going to have to wait till day because this fool's here and I don't have a good weapon. Alright, I'll be back whenever this zombie is dead and we can check how much charcoal we're about to get from 100 or 270 logs. <laughs> Alright, we're back. And our pit kiln is still not done, but the zombie is dead. Lovely. Alright, I'm, I'm going to... Grab all of this, and we'll see how much it gets us. All right. So uh, two shovels later, we get... What is that? 90? Yeah. 90 charcoal for 270. Is that actually... That's 30 for... I get... I get... It takes three wood to make uh, one charcoal. Is that the way it works? Is it a three-to-one trade? Because that's a... I actually got a precise number there. Interesting. That is what that is, right? 90 and 20 or 270. Yeah, three wood to three logs to one charcoal. And this is done. Lovely. Let's grab this and this and this and this. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, I guess we make a tool mold cuz I forgot I okay. Well, I guess the next thing we want to make is a pro pick even though I'm terrible at using it gotta get that gotta get that ore you know all right well we made a pro pick mold <laughs> oh man I'm probably gonna have to consult dunk on how to use that thing because I'm so bad at it anyways here we go come on come on and woo yes now what do I do? Do I right click it? Like shift click it? What do I do? How do I do this? Do I add it to a stick? Oh, okay. And we have a pickaxe. Oh man, it consumes the mold? Damn. 
I wasn't expecting that, I'll be honest. But now we have a copper pickaxe. Hooray. Hooray. That's pretty awesome. Uh, you can go in there to be made at some point. Now we have that we have a pickaxe, perhaps we should go do some some mining. I wonder if hmm, the pro pick it pro it'd probably be a good idea not to try and go dig anything with my precious pickaxe durability until I get a pro pick. So that probably means we need nine more tetrahedrite. Yeah. Probably. So give me that put this back. I'm going to go on a quest for more tetrahedrite and then I shall return. Well, I was off on the hunt and the uh, day is about ending, but I did find some of these things, so I'm going to run over and grab them. Delicious. I bet my uh, I bet my nutrition problem will be saved by this. Ooh. Let's get some fruit trees up in here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. We got one. Yes. Feels good. But uh, now we probably need to run back because otherwise I'm going to die by that zombie probably. Give me all the tomatoes. I think that's what these are. Oh, all right. Run back to home base. I will see you guys there. All right. So we have returned. And boy, is this episode choppy. But I have some mad loots. I found six, or f I found five tetrahedrite and a bunch of sphalerite. I don't think I can use sphalerite yet, though. We also got some uh, some uh, red bell peppers here, which I think I can eat for the num nums. In fact, let me check out my my nutrition. Oh man, we are doing poorly. <laughs> we are doing poorly for the nutrition. Um, I'm actually just gonna save these though, because I don't actually. I don't need per se. I would rather. I would much rather just like starve, and die rather than waste these things that I have only recently acquired. I'm sure one of these is empty now. By now, how is this like still barely decaying? Like I just don't. I don't understand. But we're gonna take that out and put some goodies into it instead. Ooh, plum trees. We have two plum trees that we received. Uh, we're going to try and consolidate all of our meat right now. All right, here we go. Let's grab this and this. Okay, that's still good. How about you? You good? All right, so we have some decent things. I need to eat this one first. But the rest of you can be gone. Wow, all of it fits in one vessel now. So sad. Get in there. All right. And at some point we will go push the, push or er, plant these plum tree saplings and these, and I got some bushes as well that we can plant. But uh, I think it's time for me to check the time on this episode because I have been playing. It seems like forever, but I don't know how that translates to actual recording time because I did spend like several hours just cutting down trees and getting sticks. So um, let me check that. All right. Uh, we're, we're not awfully over time or anything. We're not, we're not at 30 minutes yet or anything, but I'm, I'm definitely feeling the tiredness from just straight lumberjacking it up for that extended period of time there. Um, let's see. What is on the to-do list? Let me check it out here. Well, I think we did a lot today. Like, we found these plum trees. We get we did charcoal. We made a pick. We did a lot the second episode. Um, I think pretty soon, though, we're going to have to start looking into finding some animals. We're going to start farming, probably. Uh, can you, let me check. Wait, what? Can you turn these into seeds? No, you can't. Okay. Interesting. Well, anyways, I think I'm going to cut it off here um, because I am very not in the mood to play anymore because whew, 
As many of you know, TFC is, once you know how to do things, more of a... It's like, it's like, it's not even that much harder than, like, obviously regular Minecraft is really easy, but TFC is just like regular Minecraft, but you also have to do everything and it takes five more hours than it normally does. So yeah, but you guys don't have to see that. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, if you did, go ahead and subscribe, the usual plug nonsense. And we'll see about maybe getting into some SMP stuff with Dunk soon. I'm not sure. Um... But yeah, check out his stuff in the doobly-doo below and whatnot. And I will see you guys next time.